Hello, Soren. Merry Christmas. How are you on this fine winter's day? Oh, um, I'm fine, Mrs. Marigold. Merry Christmas. How are you? Oh, well, the Marigolds are just so excited for our trip. And we are just so grateful that you have agreed to pet sit for us the entire time. Especially considering it's the week between Christmas and New Year's. Well, I'm happy to do it. I'm trying to get some experience house and pet sitting. And considering your family has so many pets, I figured this is a great opportunity. Oh, yes, well, we certainly do have plenty of pets, that's for sure. So, um, what are all of them again? I, I think Rachel told me, but... Well, cats, of course, three of them. And two hamsters. And then, of course, there's Gilbert's tarantula. Gilbert's tarantula? Well, yes. Rachel didn't tell you that Gilbert has a tarantula now? Um, no, she definitely did not. Well, don't worry about it. He's just fed the thing. And you only have to do it once a week or something. So I guess it'll be pretty hungry by the end of the week then. Yes, I suppose it would. But like I said, don't worry about it. It'll be in its cage the whole time. Okay, well, I guess I can handle all that. You guess you can? I mean, I know I can. Yes, well... Anyway, we'll be back on New Year's Day, late afternoon. Oh, you aren't staying in Jamaica for New Year's Day? No, the place goes up if you stay going into the New Year. It doesn't make sense, but what can you do? Just don't get my husband started, Lord help us. Well, I really think you're going to have a great time. Jamaica's really beautiful. Oh, really? You've been? No, but the pastor of my church has gone a lot. He talks about it all the time. Oh, really? What's his name? Perhaps I know him. Um, Pastor Warcock. I, I don't know his first name. Oh, Pastor, I see. Well, we're a Catholic family. I wonder if there's a large contingency of us down there. Um, I don't know. Well, anyway, taking care of the pets is pretty self-explanatory. Scoop the litter boxes twice a day, keep the hamster cage clean, keep them all alive. And you can leave the tarantula alone. Oh, and don't burn the house down, of course. Well, you don't have to worry about that. I'm afraid of fire. Oh, um, well, good. So listen, I'll leave your money and some more detailed instructions on the kitchen table and a key under the mat. Well, okay, that sounds fine. Wonderful. Let's see. Is there anything else? Um, oh, yes. So, um... Are you aware of what Rachel and Gilbert have been up to with the pride flag? Um, no, I don't think so. Rachel and Gilbert wanted to put up this pride flag outside of our house, and their father and I were against it. Oh, uh, I see. Not because of any moral objection, um, uh, not really, but... Well, never mind. Uh, right. You see, it didn't have anything to do with the flag, it was about this neighborhood. There's a lot of people around here who wouldn't appreciate that, and we just didn't want... Well, we didn't want our house vandalized, to be honest. I see. Well, you know my kids, Soren. They just went ahead and did it anyway, somehow thinking that we wouldn't notice. Which, actually, we didn't. Not until our house got egged and TP'd by the Mendelssohns a few nights later. The who? Our friendly neighborhood terrorists. You know the type. They ride ATVs up and down the street, shoot off illegal fireworks at two in the morning. Oh yes, I know, for sure. Anyway, the flag isn't there now, so you won't have anything else to worry about. All right then. Well, I suppose that's it then. Are you excited? I'm excited. Very excited, Mrs. Marigold. Very excited. Hey, Soren. Oh, hey, Rachel. How's it going? How's Jamaica? Well, you are not going to believe this. Uh, believe what? Is everything okay? That stupid travel panda, monkey, whatever website, totally messed up our booking. When our bus dropped us off at what we thought was our resort and we went inside, everyone was naked. What? We all turned around and walked right out. But of course, someone had to go inside and figure out what was going on. Gilbert volunteered, of course. Uh, of course he did. Eventually, Mom and Dad just ended up going in together. That didn't stop Gil from peeking into the windows, though. So, what happened? Where were you? Some nude people's resort called Hedonism 2. 
Anyway, we ended up getting it worked out with the Hilton Oasis, and now we're there. That is insane. Quite the story, huh? Did you see any, you know, dongs? Um, yeah. No, honestly, just a couple topless old ladies. But I'm sure if we'd stayed, things would have gotten freaky deaky. Wow. Merry Christmas Eve to you. So anyway, how are things back home? How are the pets? How are my kitties? Pets are all good. Kitties are all good. And the hamsters? Rosie and Lucille doing okay? Um, yeah. Last I checked, they were just spinning on their little wheels. Good, good, because, um, I need you to do a little favor for me. You need me to do a favor? Yeah, well, actually, it's for both Gilbert and me, so we both really appreciate it, actually. Oh, really? Okay, um, I'm very curious. What is it? Well, you see, there's this pride flag that we had hanging up outside the house. Uh, yeah, I think that your mom told me about that one before you guys left for the trip. Oh, she did? Uh, I wonder why she would do that. What did she say? She just mentioned some neighborhood terrorists and that she made you take it down. Ugh, that's right. My parents are so easily intimidated. They really are cowards, you know? So what happened? Who is this Mendelssohn family? Oh, just a bunch of jerks that live on the other side of the block. The only reason they even see our house is because they roar past us in their stupid little dune buggy things. So what were they doing to you? Your mom said something about teepeeing and egging? Yeah, that's how it started, but then we got the letter. The... the letter? What letter? It showed up sticking out of our mailbox one morning. It said that if we don't take the flag down, they were going to burn it. Burn it? Yes, that's right. Oh my god. Now listen, Gilbert and I have been talking, and we would consider it a personal favor to us if you put that flag back up. But, Rachel, I don't know. I don't want to antagonize those guys. I mean... Also, I don't, I don't want to make your parents mad. But, Soren, don't you believe in freedom? Um, yes. And don't you believe in cold, hard cash? Um, what? We'll give you a hundred bucks. Um, Rachel, not that I'm questioning you and Gilbert's motives or anything, but is this really about pride at this point, or trolling? What do you mean? It's absolutely about pride. The pride of the Marigolds. These Mendelssohns need to know that we won't be pushed around. Um, right. Sure, Rachel. Hey, Soren. What's going on? How's the house sitting going? Or pet sitting. Whatever. Well, it was going fine until just a little bit ago. What do you mean? What happened? Rachel called me asking for a very strange and dangerous favor. Did you say dangerous? Well, potentially dangerous. It involves a pride flag that her parents won't let her put up. And Gilbert is involved somehow, of course. Oh, yeah. I heard something about this from her. How some neighbor guys threw eggs at their house or something. Yeah, well, I just talked to Rachel earlier today, and... Oh my god, I did too. Did she tell you about that naked resort thing? Hito, whatever? Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? I would have loved to see her mother's face. But anyway, she was telling me about the flag thing, and then she offered me a hundred bucks to put it back up. Uh, uh a hundred bucks? Yeah, I mean, a hundred bucks would go a long way for the both of us to see Frankie DeLarge this fall, right? Yeah, you're right, I mean, but isn't it dangerous? Aren't those guys a little nuts? Well, yeah, that is a concern. But then again, it's only eggs, right? And toilet paper, I mean... If you come over and help me, we get it cleaned up really quick. Plus, it won't even get to that point. We can just take a video of us putting the flag up, send it to Rachel, and that's it, right? Um, yeah, you, you make it sound so simple. Well, it is simple. If that's all you have to do, then bam, you get a hundred bucks right there in your pocket. Well, I just hope you don't get egged while I'm working at McDonald's, because I can't just leave to help you. And that stuff will freeze fast if it gets cold enough. I told you, we're just going to take a ten second video, okay? Now can you come over? Come over? You mean, to the Marigold's house? Now? Yes, now. Of course now. I want to get this done as soon as possible so I can actually enjoy my Christmas alone and away from my family. And without Rachel bugging me. Uh, well, my whole family is all starting to arrive. Your whole family? Like who? You know, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, everybody. It's Christmas Eve, Soren. Oh, come on. A half hour? Just tell your mom you have to help me with something really important. 
Like what? Oh, so now I have to think of something to tell your mom? Hey, this is all your idea. Do you want my help or not? Okay, okay, um, I'm house-sitting at the Marigolds, but I'm sick with the flu and need some medicine. You are sick with the flu. It's Christmas Eve. Your doctor is closed. That's not bad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now get over here. Okay, okay, fine. I'll be right there. I just got the video of you putting up the flag. Thank you so much, Soren. You have no idea how much this means to me. To both of us. Well, um, sure, no problem. Just happy to, you know, stand by our principles, right? And I seriously wouldn't worry about the Mendelssohn kids. They really are harmless. Plus, you're cute. Just go out and flash your wares at him. Um, I don't think I'll be flashing any wares at anybody. Oh, come on. Like they're going to hurt a girl. No, nobody's ever hurt a girl before. Well, don't worry about it. You're doing the right thing. I've got your back, okay? Gilbert and I both do. You mean you've got my back if your house gets trashed and your parents want to sue me or something? Oh, come on. My parents are never going to want to sue you. And how could they sue you for putting up a flag? You would be the one being assaulted. And plus, you told me to do it. Exactly. I told you to do it. Well, and my brother too, of course. So who took the video of you putting up the flag? It was Jupiter. I made her ditch her family having their Christmas Eve get-together. Oh, that was very cool of her to leave. I don't think she minded it all that much, to be honest with you. She's not a big fan of them. And I'm not a big fan of my family right now, either. This trip is already going terribly. Why? What's going on? You got to the right resort, right? Yes, but because of all these stories in the news about sharks lately, Mom won't let any of us get into the water. But doesn't she know what the odds are of being bit by a shark? She doesn't care. She's afraid of everything. Just tell her to close her eyes and enjoy the sun. She says that she can't, that she has to watch us at all times. How's the food, at least? The food is pretty good, but we've been hearing whispers of food poisoning. Oh, yikes. Yeah, well, fingers crossed. Oh, and the other thing is, Gilbert will not stop talking about that stupid hedonism resort, or hedo 2, or whatever it's called. He's become totally obsessed. What do you mean? Well, like at dinner last night? He just kept randomly interjecting to wonder about naked etiquette. Naked etiquette? Yeah, you know, like whether you put a towel down before you use a beach chair, whether the restaurants are clothed or just come as you are. Wow, so does he like, want to go to this thing or something? I think he's just more interested in seeing people naked. He's 13, of course he wants to see people naked. Well, there's a nude beach somewhere around here. There is? Yeah, Sabrina happened upon it, in her words, ever so unfortunately. So we're just trying to keep that between us. Well, I hope you enjoy. Yeah, you too, hun. Take care of those animals for me, and remember, stay strong. Um, <laughs> right. Staying. Jupiter? Oh my god, Jupiter? Uh, what? What is it? It's... 7 a.m. on Christmas morning. Come on, Soren. What do you want? What did you do with the flag yesterday? What flag yesterday? What are you talking about? The pride flag that we took a video of me putting up. I went inside after and you said that you would take it down. Did you put it in the garage like I told you to? Um, the garage? Uh... Or did you just prop it up against the side of the house like I saw you do before I went inside and then told you specifically not to do it again? Well, that garage door is really heavy. You can just come inside and open it. There's a button. Haven't you ever operated a garage door before? All right, all right. I'm sorry. Jeez, you don't have to be so mean about it. Uh, well, it's gone. Gone? What do you mean it's gone? Like, stolen? Yes, of course, like stolen Jupiter. What else do you think could have happened to it? But how do you know that's what happened? I mean, maybe the wind could have blown it away or something. Because of what whoever did take it put in its place. You mean they put a different flag in the flag holder thing? Yeah, and you honestly don't want to know which one it was. I already burned it in the fire pit out back. But you're afraid of fire. Not when it comes to that symbol of hate. So, do you think it was those Mendelssohn kids? I don't know. I don't know them, but I wouldn't think that even they would be evil enough to do that. 
God, that is so messed up. What is wrong with people? Like, what goes through their minds? The hate? The cruelty? I don't know, Jupiter, but I'm just glad that that's all that happened. I mean, I'm not looking forward to telling Rachel that her flag was stolen, but at least I don't have to tell her parents that their house has frozen eggs all over it. Hmm, I just wish we could get it back. Don't they have a ring camera or something? I checked. It's not a ring. It's a ding. It's some cheapo off-brand. The thing was so blurry, it looked like Bigfoot was walking up to the house. Well, I guess we could just replace it for a new one. She'd notice, though. That one was a little too worn. All right, well, best of luck with that. Happy Christmas. Yeah, happy Christmas to you. Um, hey, Rachel, how's it going? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, Soren. It could be better. It could be a whole lot better. Oh, no, what's going on? Well, that whole food poisoning rumor that I told you about? Turns out it wasn't a rumor after all. So, you're all sick? Yeah, all of us except for Gilbert, who wisely chose to forego the scrambled egg seafood surprise. Yikes, I am so sorry, Rachel. At least he can take care of all of you then. No, he can't, because he disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean? He stole Dad's credit card and took a cab back to Hedonism too. Last we heard, he was being held by the authorities for trying to sneak in. Oh my god. So Dad's on his way to pick him up. Can you believe this? He's probably throwing up the whole way there. Ugh. So anyway, we're probably going to be coming home early. How are things there? How are the pets? Uh, Merry Christmas, by the way. Oh, how's the flag? Did it make it through the night? Because I swear, if it didn't, that may be the thing that just tips me over the edge. Um, yep, all good here. Everything's good, Rachel. Okay, well, excellent. We knew that you'd take care of everything. And remember, you've got an extra hundred bucks coming your way. <laughs> That's right, I... Almost forgot. Uh, see you soon. Soren, you aren't going to believe this. Yes, yes, I know. You're super pissed because your McDonald's is the only one within 400 miles that's open a half day on Christmas. Yes, yes, I know. But you're only working for three hours and you're making double time, Jupiter. No, it's not that. It's the Mendelssohn's. It's the pride flag. Wait, what? What are you talking about, Jupe? I'm working the first window in the drive-thru, and a giant red truck came through just like the one you showed me in that blurry video. Well, so what? There's a million big red trucks in this town, and like you said, it was a blurry video. I think the item I saw in the back seat just may be a key piece of evidence linking them to the crime, though. Wait a minute, you mean... Yes, the pride flag was sitting right there in the back seat. Well, you have to get it, Jupiter. But how am I going to do that? Just ask nicely. Well, I don't know. I got it. The fries. What about the fries? I'll tell them to pull around for fries, and then I'll have Paul bring them out. When he hands them over and no one is looking, I'll snatch the flag out of the back seat. But is the back window even open? Yes, it is. That's how I noticed the flag. This is risky, Jupiter. What if you get caught? You could end up getting fired. Eh, you've got to stand by your principles. Against all odds, Jupiter's gambit worked, and without the two Mendelssohns up front noticing, she snatched the pride flag from the back seat. After retrieving a dazed and confused Gilbert from Hedo 2, the still nauseous Marigolds boarded a plane back to the good old US of A. Soren gave the pride flag back to Rachel, who was never the wiser to it temporarily being on loan to the now very confused, even for them, Mendelssohns.